In this video I'll show you how my programming language can guarantee no buffer overflows with zero overhead bound checking. Let's begin with explaining what bound checking is. If we have an array with four elements, we can access them using indexes 0, 1, 2, and 3. But if we try using index that's greater than 3, we go outside the array's bounds and access memory that doesn't belong to it. This is called a buffer overflow and it can cause reading incorrect values, crashes, and security vulnerabilities. To protect against buffer overflows, bound checking can be added, which checks if the index is within the array's bounds. This check happens at runtime, so it slows down the code, and sometimes it's possible to know the index is within the bounds at compile time, so the check is redundant. By how much bound checking slows down the code? Here's a simple sum loop benchmark that attempts to measure it. The loop got four steps, loop condition, bound check, sum addition, and index increment. In the second version, the bound check step is removed. Unlike vector at, the subscript operator doesn't do bound checking. How much faster do you think the no check version will be? Maybe 25% because one out of four steps was removed? Maybe 50% in case the bound check is more expensive relative to the other steps? It's 42 times faster. Turns out the bound checking blocks some compiler optimizations. In this case, loop unrolling and using SIMD instructions. Just for fun, I try to maximize the speed up on my machine. Using a much native to use AVX2 instead of SSE, and found a sweet spot of 4096 vector elements. This resulted in a huge 115 times speed up, just from removing a bound check. Many programming languages compromise performance for security by always bound checking. My language doesn't need to compromise. Here's how. My compiler knows the possible value range of the index and the possible value range of the array size using interval arithmetic. I have a video about it in case you didn't watch it already, link in the description. In my language, a lookup includes element found and element not found branches. If the index value range is fully inside the elements range, then the lookup can't go out of bounds. So it's guaranteed the element is found and the found branch is always taken and there's no need for a bound check. If the index value range is fully outside the elements range, then the element is always not found. So the not found branch is always taken and there's no need to perform a lookup. If the index value range is partially inside the elements range, then there's no guarantee either way at compile time and the bound check must be used. Another advantage of defining integers as value ranges is that it gives the compiler useful information for optimizing away bound checks. For example, using unsigned int 8, which has a value range of 0 to 255, versus using int 0 to 199, to index an array with 200 elements. Generally, a compiler can't know if an unsigned int 8 runtime value will go above 199, so it can't remove the bound check. If you want to see more videos about the programming language you're making, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.